हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर्टीन हेबुलर डायनामिक्स द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द क्रेट व्हिच हैज अ मास ऑफ हंड्रेड के जी इज सब्जेक्टेड टू द एक्शन ऑफ टू फोर्सेज इफ इट इज ओरिजिनली एट रेस्ट द इनिशियल विलास्ट इज जीरो डिटरमाइन द डिस्टेंस इट स्लाइड्स इन ऑर्डर टू अटेन अ स्पीड ऑफ सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड कोफिशेंट ऑफ कानेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द क्रेट एंड द सर्फिस इज पॉइंट टू सो इनिशियली द क्रेट इज समेयर हेयर एंड इट इज एट रेस्ट एंड इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू टू फोर्स इज वन इज थाउजेंड न्यूटन फोर्स एंड वन इज एट हंड्रेड न्यूटन फोर्स एंड इट इज मेकिंग थर्टी डिग्रीज एंड द एंगल ऑफ दिस थाउजेंड न्यूटन फोर्स इज गिवन इन द शेप ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल so in the problem it is said that what distance it should cover so that the velocity at the second point at the end of that distance must be equal to 6 meter per second so let's say that here the this the location is let's say 1 and this is the point 2 so at point 1 the velocity v1 is 0 and at point 2 the velocity v2 is 6 meter per second and we need to find this distance s which need to be traveled to attain that uh, v2 which is 6 meter per second so now for that uh, we can apply the work energy principle so if i apply the work energy principle then as we know that the kinetic energy at first point plus the summation of the work done due to the external forces will be equal to the kinetic energy at point 2 but before uh, applying this equation i need to find the normal force on this crate so as we know that if we consider the free body diagram of this crate so its weight will be acting vertically downward like this this will be the weight and this weight is since the mass is 100 kg so this is 100 times 9.81 and the surface will apply the normal force on it as well so let me draw that free body diagram here let's say that this is that crate and its weight is acting vertically downward and this weight is 100 times 9.81 and the normal force is acting vertically upward and this is the that 1000 newton force and here we have that 800 newton force so now if the crate is moving in this direction if the motion is towards the right so there will be a friction force so the friction force is going to act towards the left so let's say this is the friction force and this will be equal to mu k times n and this is that normal force which the surface is going to apply so now first we need to resolve this 1000 newton force into its components so we will have two components this one will be the cos component and this one will be the sin component so from this triangle if this is theta so then this is also that theta so we can write that 1000 cos of theta so from this triangle cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so it is 4 divided by 5 so let me write that this is 4 divided by 5 and similarly this sine component so this is this is 1000 sin of theta and from this triangle we can say the sin of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so this is 3 divided by 5 and similarly this 800 newton force is making 30 degree angle so we need to resolve it as well so this is 800 cos of 30 degrees and there is one another component this one is the sin component remember so now if i apply the summation of forces along the vertical direction that is along the y equals to m a y this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction so the summation of forces along y is equal to m a y and as we know that the crate is only accelerating in the x direction so in the y direction the acceleration is zero so this means that the summation of forces along y will be equal to zero so that n force is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus n plus n minus the weight so that weight is 100 into 9.81 and this component of this 1000 newton force is acting in the positive y as well so this is 1000 i will write plus 1000 into 3 divided by 
Similarly, this sine component of 800 newtons acting in the negative y direction, so I have to subtract it. So this is minus 800 sine of 30. So this will be equal to 0. Now when we add up all these three terms, so we get minus 781. So we can write that n minus 781, this is equal to 0, or we can say that that normal force is equal to 781 newtons. So now as we can see that uh, here we have we have uh, five external forces but out of those five external forces this normal force and this weight they are not going to to do some work since the distance is traveled in the horizontal direction and the direction of these two forces are in the vertical direction so they are making 90 degree with the distance traveled so this weight and this normal force they are not going to produce the work done so the only work uh, that is done by these three forces that's 800 newton force this 1000 newton force and this friction force and again these horizontal components of these forces are producing are doing the work and these vertical components are not doing the work since these two components are acting in the distance traveled right in the direction of the distance traveled so if I want to find the work done, uh, if I want to find the work done due to that 800 Newton force, let me write that the U800 is the work done due to that 800 Newton force. So this will be equal to 800 cos of that 30 degrees. And is I have told you people that we want to find their distance travel. So let's say their distance travel is S. So this cos component multiply by that s and if i write that this component so this component is perpendicular with the distance travel so this is not going to produce the work done so the work done due to this sign component is zero so i will write plus zero so this is the work done due to that 800 newton force let me calculate it so this is 800 800 cos of 30 into s so this is 692.82, so this is 692.82s. Similarly, the work done due to that 1000 Newton force, so this is equal to again the cos component or this component multiplied by that s. So this is 1000 into 4 divided by 5 multiplied by s. So 1000 into 4 divided by 5, 1000 multiplied by 4 divided by 5, this is 800 s this is 800 s and similarly the friction force the work done due to the friction force is mu k times n into s so mu k is given that is 0.2 and we have determined that n which is 781 and s so 0.2 into 0 0.2 into 781 so this is equal to 156.2 so this is 156.2 s now we can apply this equation one so from this equation one i can write that the initial kinetic energy is zero since the initial velocity is zero so we can say that t1 is equal is, is equal to zero so i will write zero plus the summation of all of these so this is 692.82s plus 800s. This is s, remember, this is s. And the work done due to friction is the negative work. Since the uh, crate is moving towards the right and the friction force is acting in the opposite direction, so this means that this friction force is doing the negative work. So we have to subtract this, right? So we will write minus... 156.2 into s and this is this will be equal to the kinetic energy at point 2 so the kinetic energy at point 2 will be 1 divided by 2 the mass of the grate is 100 and the velocity at point 2 is given which is 6 meter per second so we will write 6 square so now we can add up all of these if i take s common so this will be 692.82 plus 800 minus 156.2 into s and this will be 100 divided by 2 is 50 into 6 square is 36 so now we can find we can add up all of these so this is 692.82 plus 
800 minus 156.2. So this gives me 1336.62. 1336.62 s, and this is 50 into 36. So now s is equal to 50 into 36 divided by 1336.62. So 50 into 36, 1336.62, this gives me S equals to 1.347, approximately 1.347 meters. So after traveling a distance of 1.347 meters, the grade subjected to these forces will attain a speed of 6 meter per second. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Also like this video if you people want me to solve uh, such more problems from chapter 14, Hibbler Dynamics.